What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Nev from Nev's Tech, but it's just chilling out here on a Saturday, having a good time, tearing down this uh, Robo Sapien. Rise from your grave. Yeah, so he's pretty cool, pretty fun. Unfortunately, I don't have the remote control to this guy. It doesn't look like he responds to his environment so much like the, the Robo Raptor did. And uh, honestly, I tried to sell this thing on eBay for like forever. <laughs> Nobody bought him. So you know what? I'm going to tear this guy down because I really want to know what he looks like on the inside. Released competitively in the 2004 Christmas season. It looks like something you would get at Radio Shack in uh, 1984, but on steroids. Look at this guy. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Man, I remember back in the day, you'd pass a Radio Shack in the, in the aisle of a mall, and like half the toys would be out up front. Early on, they'd always have batteries, but later on, none of them would have batteries. But really, could you blame them back then? Batteries that are like ar an arm and a leg. I mean, back then, it wasn't too uncommon that uh, the batteries you needed in the unit would be about one-third the price of the unit or the toy. I almost wonder if there wasn't enough competition in the battery market back then, or maybe they just had it at hobbyist prices. You know, like, you, you get a hobby, and just the price of it is astronomical. Like, if you want an aquarium, if you want a, uh, if you want a boat, if you want any of these things, the prices are just stupid high. You know what? I bet it was uh, terrorists in China. We couldn't get the Chinese to make our batteries, so the prices were astronomical. Anyways, back to this guy. One thing I love about tech from this age is there's not so much clips. It's all Phillips head screws and that. Oh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I can't tell you how much I love that. So uh, we get the housing off of this bot. We get the Apple housing off of this bot. And, uh, oh, right, the speakers are connected by a terminal. Thank you. Oh, wait. That is, yeah, that is speakers. Thank you. Why don't people do that more often in these things? Anyways, here's the main board. Pretty impressive. There's a, a lot going on there. Definitely a lot going on there. I'll get the, uh, I'll get everything out and give you a better look at that. I know I got some viewers that love uh, to see the PCB up close. Here you go. There's the money shot. <laughs> okay, this part kind of feels wrong to watch. Didn't feel wrong to do, but, uh, I, it, does, it doesn't feel right to watch. I'm just going to turn away. No robots were actually harmed in the, in the making of this. The batteries were uh, safely removed. He, he felt nothing, I, I promise. And this is me trying to uh, get the cock piece off. Having such a hard time getting this bot's pants off. Like, it's worse than my wife when I started dating her. It's just crazy. Look at that. He bit me. Oh, well. Canada has Medicare. I'll be fine. Speaking of Medicare, what the heck happened with Bernie Sanders? I mean, wasn't he supposed to be where Hillary Clinton was? And y'all let him get away with that? And then Trump? This is on you guys. Come on. For those of you just here for information on how to tear this guy down, just trust me what I'm doing right now. Phillips head screws. Easy to find. Let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the money shot. We got the two motors right there. Springs. Main board, of course. Main housing. I really wish that I uh, slapped the batteries back in this thing and let it dance a little bit, but unfortunately, my daughter had borrowed them, and uh, and, and and her toys are more important than my videos. What can I say? I got two like really freaking cute kids. If you see them, it, you'd understand. More Phillips head screws. I love the engineering. I'd rather have Phillips head screws than clips. Freaking hate clips. So as we can see here, uh, I, I I missed a screw. One that's really hiding, and one that's really hard to point out up at the top there. So if you're trying to do this beautifully, th this is one thing you might run into. The leg joints are harder to get into on this than they were on the Robo Raptor, but ultimately they look about the same, interestingly enough. So next up, I'm going to be working the arms. More Phillips head screws. Once again, I'd rather have Phillips head screws and. Uh, then clips, freaking hate clips. Clips are the worst. You know what? I'm just gonna crank the speed on this because uh, y'all know how to look with these Phillips head screws on your own. You're fine. So about now, I'm thinking about getting an automatic uh, screwdriver for fine screws. If you guys like to recommend one of those for me in the comments, that would be awesome. So check her out. Here we go. We got uh, we got the motor.
So by this point, I got almost everything taken apart. It's interesting how many standard motors that we have here. The kind of motors that I used to be able to tear apart, apart remote control cars and find all the time. It's like my brother and I would play with uh, when we had way too much time on our hands when we were kids. I gotta say my favorite type of technology is old technology used for new things or old technology used in different ways and I see a lot of that going on here. I, I see a lot of old school physical mechanics and I love this kind of stuff. So at the end here I want to be taking down the legs and uh, I want to see if the legs are anything like the uh, Robo Raptor were. And from checking this out over here, it definitely looks like that's the case. I got to say the feet are so difficult to take apart. That's what we got on the inside. A whole lot of yellow goop and a whole lot of springs. I guess that uh, goop would make sure those springs don't uh, rust or anything like that. But ultimately, that's it for this Robo Sapien. But as a bonus round, I'm going to be taking down the Mini Robo Sapien next. Man, I love tearing down things, especially if those things are just things that are taking up room that nobody else wants. Next up, let's have a look at the mini Robo Sapien. Brought out shortly after the regular Robo Sapien, this little guy was uh, supposed to capitalize on the market that loved the Apple type look, but didn't have the money to buy the full version. It could walk forward. That's exactly what this thing could do. The arms would uh, go up and down manually if you move them, but uh, that's about it. Actually, I guess it can walk sideways too. Also, it can pump its fists. That video was probably borrowed from Fun Toy Surprise. Check out the link in the description if you want to see the full unboxing. Anyways, like a goober, I go for the arms uh, first, just like I did with the original Robo Sapien. Totally forgetting that you need to take the, the torso, the body housing off, before you can get the arms off. I really wish I was looking at my camera a little bit more when I was doing this, because I seem to have an, a great ability to get myself off panel. So many more Phillips head screws. At least they're not clips though, right? I finally managed to get into this thing. And of course there's not a lot to it. It's basically uh, just a single motor, some LEDs. The hands are all manual. The motor takes a, a wee bit to get out. But seriously, there's almost nothing to the motor. I'm, uh, I'm really impressed with how much that they do uh, for, su for such a package. I wish I could tell you what the price of these things were, but honestly, I don't know. I think I'd be pretty surprised if it was more than 30 bucks, but uh, yeah, they definitely got away with it. They got away with the look. It's interesting. The look almost seems to come from Radio Shack from the 80s, brought into Robo Sapien, and then passed on by Apple. It really looks like Apple designed this thing. And I wonder if, if this was released this way in this day and age, if Apple would uh, throw a lawsuit at these Robo Sapien folks. Anyways, that's the leg assembly, and the leg assembly brings us pretty much to the end. So that's it for me, folks. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And uh, have a good one. Take care of each other, folks.